What's up guys, Luke again and welcome back to another episode of 500k in a day, the video where we're uploading one every hour. If you're looking for cheaper and reliable ultimate team coins, make sure you go to gofeefcoins.com, link will be in the description as well, the discount code to get 5% off, and yeah, so, same as last episode, you can see what I'm trading with on the screen, and what I'm listing them up for and stuff, but, I've only just noticed how short we actually do this in, so there's only going to be another couple of episodes after this, um, but hopefully you still enjoy the series, I mean I've enjoyed doing it apart from my eyes stinging and um, yeah I'm just going to probably chill out after I've made all these videos and play some GTA or just chill out on FIFA or something, I'm not too sure, but anyway... This is the buy of this series up to now. We get this Bolanos for 107k, and there's only one more on the market for 250k. So we list ours up at 195, and that is some absolutely insane profit after tax. That is unreal profit. But I think we pick up another one in this episode as well. But as you can see, the market was kind. Of, the servers were going a bit dodgy at this time um, when I was trading. But anyway, he does sell for 195k. That puts us on around. Is that 280k, 291k? I'm not too sure. Can't really see. It's a bit blurry on my screen. But then we are going to be picking up another Balanos. Um, we get this one for a little bit more expensive, 130. But because that one sold so quick for 195, I'd risk it and list this one up for 230. Um, obviously, like I said the last time, the cheapest was 250. And if this one sells for 230, that'd be some really, 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 really nice profit. And yeah, we're gonna pick up this first informed Barad now for 27k, and we're gonna list this one up for around how much do we list it up for? Around 45k. Uh, we did sell one earlier in the series for around 68k, but we're gonna get this Piatti now. He's only got two star weak foot, but he is left footed and he has, does look like a really good player. And he's got four star skills. But as you can see, some of the players that we're just picking up now, we're just just picking um, wingers up with Hunter on. And obviously, these is the method that I had most success with. So obviously, I'm going to keep using it. And yeah, so get this Suso here that we actually sent to the trade pile as well. I think I sent one to the club by accident, but I list them all into the trade pile. And as you can see, that Bolanos did sell for 220k. I said 230k by accident, but we still got Brady selling, and we still got these wingers that we're now listing up. Um, Suso 4.4 listing up for 7k. Piatti 4k listing up for around 7k as well, because the market just in general is absolutely going sky high. There's just no need for it, but. This is the best time for us traders to be trading and making a nice amount of coins. So, next player that we're going to buy is going to be a lot of these more silvers with Hunter. This Montero has actually been converted from a striker to a cam. We got him for free kill, him up for 5.5. We get a couple of Danilos who we actually got at the start of the series. But we're using these ones with right wing and Hunter. And we actually get two of these as well, two Monteros. So... Montero is a really good player on this game. I really like his inform. Um, but anyway, the last player is going to be a Danilo. That we got for 4.5k, goes it up for around 6.6k, which after tax is really, really nice. And then obviously, last player is going to be a Riascos, right wing with Hunter. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you drop it a like, subscribe, show your support on this series, and I'll see you on the next hour. Bye.